Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where we're continuing the tour of the ship and like I know Mass Effect 2 looked nice and all but like wow it's just cool to see each game look look its best you know this is where Garrus will be well where he'll be for a lot of the time he does move around I don't know what that's supposed to be the particle array. Anyway, this game is beautiful. I did just find a couple mods too that I want to get. There's one, there's two I found for Shepard's body mesh, one for casual, and one for uh, art when she's in her armor that just give her a bit, bit of muscle because she does look like a noodle, like she currently is. Like this, the, this, this casual outfit is a little better, but I don't know why they made her so skinny and her arms so skinny and her torso so skinny what up oh no is glyph here glyph might be here i thought glyph was holding down the fort but yeah there it is commander shepherd it's a pleasure to see you again you're the drone from the shadow broker ship dr tassoni now refers to me as glyph instead of info drone 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you've found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak I with think you. I'd rather know what I'm day. looking for instead of having people popping in and out of my comms. Being with the council didn't go too well, huh? It was less than ideal. Yeah, I'm shocked. At least the council can't deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. Wow. Becoming the big info brokers turned you into a real cynic, Liara. I like it. <laughs> I'm flattered. Of course he does. I think. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. That's a good point, right? Like, we didn't, we didn't say anything about that, but we have no idea actually what this thing actually does. <laughs> Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. The thought means a lot, Liara. Thanks. You're welcome. And since I didn't mention it before, it's good to be back, Shepard. Yeah, welcome back. That's right. She wasn't with us in the last game. This is a this is a deplorable curtain situation. They follow you wherever you go. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Dun dun dun! Me! You hope nothing sends you remains. From Operative Farron. I mean, that's, um... That's the drill. From Mass Effect, or from the Shadow Broker DLC. Make contact with Tazik. The look on his face was priceless. Uh... The black market's unreliable. Mm -hmm. 
fascinating. Anything anything else you have for me? Hey, I can't. Hello again, Chad. Yeah, let's chat. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. Oh, the bloom. We're enough data survive to piece together the blueprints. You can't see her. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. <laughs> She's still a nerd. You brought your little helper with you? Its name is Glyph. It helped sort through all the data that led me to the Archive on Mars. It was a pleasure to be of assistance, Doctor. Glyph's interfaced with the data feeds. Its analytical software should come in handy. She's also fixed it so it doesn't call everybody the Shadow Broker anymore. What's been happening with you as the Broker, Liara? It's been... exciting. The old Broker's ship? Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? Oh! I knew he was coming. Ferron and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus' ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the Broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Ferron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Ferron didn't report any injuries during his last call to your doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? I just told you. Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars. I thought I'd covered my tracks. But he had surveillance there all along. I don't know what this happened in the last game, in the last version of the game too, where this this room has like a lot of bloom with the screens behind it, and you think they just like I don't know, cut that out in the cutscene because it's very hard to see. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. To see her, it's like ah, in my eyes, you know. Mm, do I have anything? Uh, technically, blah, 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 improving, did I already do that? Oh, this is like a, you can pick one of two options, let's do shield strength. Oh, okay, and that's just a list of my upgrades. Please, enjoy your day. Thanks. We can go check on Chakwas, because I already bought her whiskey. Heck yeah, Chakwas. You keep losing your whiskey, hang on, let me check this room. Oh yeah, this is where we keep the uh, the synthetic things. Lee Jen, the robot lady. I'm sure freaking she loves having that in there. Come on, Doc. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine. Oh, okay. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. I guess a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, <laughs> it is nothing invasive. <laughs> I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. That's it. You're the picture of health. Yeah, I think you can in this game. I think if you keep if you go renegade, you'll start getting the scars again. There is a cool mod that lets you have paragon scars. It gives you blue ones essentially instead of red ones, which I think is pretty cool, honestly. How's your inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. 
We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. So no, I don't regret it one bit. I like your perspective. You never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you are all my children. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. I like Chakwas. She's a career woman, and she doesn't regret it, right? Like, she's like, I'm not lonely. I've got friends. And, like, I think she talks about it a little bit in... I think it's two? Where, like, sometimes it's a little lonely. But, like, this is the life she chose. And, like, she doesn't regret it, you know? Like, the loneliness. There would be... It, it's, you know, pros and cons of the lifestyles. You know what I mean? Like, her, like, career-driven one versus, like, trying to balance a family and everything with it. Like would be incredibly difficult as well. So, I don't know. I I like Chakwas a lot. I think she's a, she's a good example of someone who finds fulfillment in her work. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. And, like, in, like, social, like, you know, she's got friends, you know. She's, she's not alone. She just chose a slightly different path than a lot of women choose. Oh, this woman's in here. That's Thane. Right there. Why is he? Why is he there? How's your new assignment working out, Alars? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Venezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for exactly? Yeah. Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elkor cry. She is very useful. Do you do anything else? Commander. Okay. Like, it is weird having a reporter on a classified ship. Also, the fact that she figured out the AI is unshackled and she knew who Liara was is... A little weird. Adams! Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post. Right, I couldn't, I didn't, I couldn't expect him to do that. Like, I couldn't expect everybody to be able to just drop everything and come help me with a terrorist organization, essentially, you know? Your alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank Did you they make her butt bigger? Be aboard. I think they made, I, I was looking at her boobs earlier and I was like, are her boobs bigger? Or are they, like, in a weird spot? And I think they made her butt bigger, too. Don't worry, I'll get a mod. The mod, one of the mods I was looking at, is just like makes it more of the original size. So they did definitely make it. They definitely changed her body shape, and it's just weird. You'd think in the legendary edition, you know, they wouldn't have. They would have kind of done away with the noodle arms at least, <laughs> but uh, apparently not. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. 
Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Oh, good. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up. It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I know Didn't I fix that? The genetic barriers with cyclonic technology should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully, that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? Nah. We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. Oh, I do feel bad if, um... If I hadn't killed off all my extraneous crew in the last one, I'd have, um... Those two that were that were in the that were in the engineering department before, the like Irish guy or the Scottish guy or whatever, and the other lady, the American woman, um, they'd be down here too. So it's a little sad without them, honestly. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her, and at time I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. I mean, it's fair, right, to have like, you know, like a Cerberus AI. You're like, even an AI in general might be a bit wiggy, but like a Cerberus one, you're like, I don't know. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. So I get it, yeah. We should have two people here, but... Uh, there's less people to talk to now? <laughs> This is where Jack would live if Jack were here. Spoilers, Jack will not be joining us. Uh, wow, all my stuff's down here. The Shadow Broker ship. Oh, cool. I didn't have that in the last game. Well, there you are! Space Hamster! Space Hamster, come back here! Come back here! Oh, that's, I forgot you gotta catch your Space Hamster because they let it out. Come back! I was like, what's moving? There you are. Get, get over here. I can't grab it. It's too fast. There you are. How dare they? Let, I'm sure you were scared out of your mind. Why didn't Edie tell me that the space hamster was running around? <laughs> I love that it's called space hamster, too. Not just a hamster. It's a space hamster. And now we can go down there. James Vega is over there, and he does pull-ups every day. And Steve's down there. We can't see him yet, though. Oh, we can't go in there yet. That's where one of our DLC companions will go. That's where... Uh, what's the word? Um, redacted <laughs> will go. <laughs> There's Steve. Oh my gosh, the dog! Oh my gosh, I, was, I can't believe also that like she just left her dog behind for one thing and also that she expects me to just keep it. Dog! And it's a mechanical dog. Stay. People will, people will fall in love with anything, right? We will anthropomorphize anything. Why can't I pet it? Is this... What it? I don't. I swear, I don't remember this from when I played. Is this some sort of DLC that I have integrated now? It's so cute, and it looks pretty sharp, honestly. And like it's all oh, its little moving modular components look really good. Hello, hello. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Yeah. Okay. 
Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. How do they get it to me? <laughs> when I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So, you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's law yep. of mid-air collisions. Yeah, you guys missed that. To save the day, Pendejo. <laughs> I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. How long have you been with the Alliance? About ten years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. Practically dances in low admo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah. And I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. Little dog in the background. What happened to the M44? Yeah, what happened to the Amrad? <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology what? based on the Normandy design. On a shuttle? For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. <laughs> she flies like a brick. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Norman. Yep. Welcome back to the Alliance. Call game. back. They, they, they messed with the design in two. But it really does make more sense to have it down here, <laughs> like it wasn't one. You were stationed on Earth. You have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Yeah. Um, so, say hello to Steve. He's the first um, gay-only um, romance option. So you can only romance him if you're a male male shepherd um and it is the first time you had a just not instead of like a bisexual or you know i don't even think we've actually had like a straight up lesbian option either but he is the no oh, don't we i guess no who was it i don't think samantha taylor i think she's bisexual but i'm not 100 percent sure but um he's the first um yeah, like totally just gay male romance option. So, in any Bioware game, I'm pretty sure. Because Dragon Age didn't have one until 20. Was it 16? 2012? Was it 2012? When Inquisition came out? It can't be 2012. No, because it came out after I started my YouTube channel. So, it had to be. Maybe it was. 2014. I always, you sh I should remember this, but I never do. It was in 2014. Okay. So I started playing Mass Effect 2, or Mass Effect 3, in late 2014, and then Inquisition came out late 2014, but I don't think I started uploading it until 2015. Um, but it was the second game that I played on the channel. After Mass Effect 3. So. And in that one you have. Yeah so this one would be the first gay option then. Because 
in Dragon Age Inquisition, you have Dorian, who's gay only, and you have Sarah, who's lesbian only. Um, I can't think. I don't think any. I don't think there was ever a lesbian option in, but I, in Mass Effect. But you had the option to romance Liara if you wanted to. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. He's very formal. At least in the beginning. Uh, his story is super duper sad. I can't. It'll be in. Do I have any? Yes. Uh huh. Mm, no. Don't like that one. What is it? The shredder mod? No. for you. I think part of the problem with the weapon bench is that I don't have a way sorry dog I don't think I have a way to modify anybody else here am I the no I can modify my other companion stuff I already did this okay Review, we have procurement interface. Yeah, that's expensive. The Inferno armor, not my favorite. Model Alliance Kodiak, heck yeah. I could have just waited to buy it, but you know, here we are. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Um. La, 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 la. Let's go ahead and get the katana upgraded. Do I have the predator? I do have the predator. Uh, uh we'll do the Avenger. We got people using that. The thing is, is we're gonna get other weapons at some point, but it's still good to get the upgrades, especially if I'm gonna play on hard mode and hope for the best. Hey, Shepard. <laughs> How'd it go with the castle? Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? Oh, yep. It's like you were there. Yep. We're going to rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <sighs> it's such you a... come down here for something? Or are you just looking? <sighs> uh, this is such an awkward angle to be having this conversation from. I like that you can still see Shepard's head going up and down, though. It's funny. I did just come to chat, but I might stay for the show. <sighs> Have to work harder than that if you want me to blush. Dang it. <laughs> he is a giant. Not sure what there is to talk giant about. Giant flirt. He is a giant flirt. <sighs> you already know my service, right? No, I don't. I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. <sighs> He's gonna well, collide his head at any second. Think you can dance and talk at the same time? <laughs> oh, I can dance. Okay, Lola. Let's his traps this. are ridiculous. Don't let my good looks fool you, Vega. I got my share of scars. <laughs> you remind me of my old CO. Oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. These noodle arms couldn't take James Vega on to save my life. Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them 
Or the intel we had on the collectors. The intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. Sorry. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Uh, your fists do. Just to guess. Yeah. You a shrink too? No, but that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So, maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <laughs> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. Maybe you are. I just yeeted him. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. Lola, huh? <laughs> you kind of look like a Lola. You're cute. So I'll let you get away with it. For now. That's it. Now you made me blow. <laughs> oh, James Vega is fun. I was a little bummed that you couldn't romance him, but it's also fine. Like, he looks like he's just there as, like, eye candy, but, like, he's not hes not really a romance option. Which is, it's kind of nice. It's kind of interesting, right? Like, I don't know. Also, he's just... He's way too muscly, honestly, which is maybe a weird thing to say, but, like, he's way too muscly for my taste. Like, oh, it looks like he's about to burst out of his skin, and that's not, a, that's not an attractive look to me. I think, actually, I'm down here. I'm pretty sure somewhere. Yes. I have models down here. Not like, you know, not like Victoria's Secret models, but the cooler kind. <laughs> the kind that you put together and you put on display. <laughs> Yes, the SR one. This is what I was saying. The 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 pickup distance for these uh, like items is not very far. Like you got to be really close to them to pick it up. Like just to see it show up. I don't remember that being down here. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Some things I remember, and some things I don't. Is there anything over here? Yeah, baby. Alliance Cruiser. Gimme, gimme. Where is Geth Cruiser? Perfect. Sweet. I don't gotta go buy any. <laughs> They're all here. The gang's all here. I did have to buy one, though. I do want to see what I've got. All right, all right. They did, they did add a whole second wall. Hey, hamster. I should get you like more decorations and stuff to put in there. I'm sure it's very boring. Mm. That's the Corian ship. That's Sovereign. That's a Geth ship. Ah, uh, Turian frigate. The the whatever the cor the SRE thing. Um, I think that's an Alliance. Shoot, I can't remember because we're a frigate. This might be a normal frigate. Um, that's the little shuttle. And that's the Shadow Broker base. In real life, I have the Normandy SR1, the SR2, the SR3, and the Turian Frigate. You know, in model form. Jeez, did it really go that long? 30 minutes? Um, I think... I mean, where's the freaking... Should be good on everybody. Specialist trainer, Joker, Liara, Chakwas. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Love having a map. Oh, now we get to go to Palavin, which is so not Palavin. Palavin's moon. Um, but we get to see Garrus, which is dope. So I'm, so I'm excited. But thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Rizquito, my sapling chip patron. Thank you so much for your support. Holy cow, Look at how much money I've already spent. 
<laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I had that whole like economic thing of like, we don't need money, and here I am going, oh no, I need money. <laughs> but people should just give me things. Um, but yes, <laughs> sorry, thank you for your support, Rescalito, and I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tweet tier patron. Thank you so so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. I just realized we have photo mode too. Anyway, thank you so much for your support. <laughs> um. Yeah, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.